Being a TV reporter usually doesn't involve manual labor, but this was a special case. Jean Timms had an 88-pound cannonball in her car, and she needed to get it inside her house, so local historian Ben Burroughs and I got straight to work. The ball was found here under an oak tree on Tim's property in front of a bridal wear shop. A cleanup crew spotted the top of it peeking out of the ground. I wasn't sure what it was, but I thought it was a cannonball, but it looked so big, bigger than any that I had ever seen. It took two hours of work to dig it out of the tree's roots. Burrow says the 10-inch projectile was made to be fired out of a mortar like this one. The ball was made with shrapnel inside it and an explosive charge triggered by a cork fuse. It was a shock and all weapon of its day. If it hit a building, even if it didn't explode, it's going to do major damage. But then you add to it, to that, uh, it exploding and all this shrapnel going out, and you had pretty destructive weapon. The ball's discovery raises many questions. How did it get here? Are there other artifacts buried nearby? And which side did it belong to? There are some marks on it that indicate that it could have been Confederate but those same marks could have been Union. So we really don't know. Eventually, Tim's wants the ball to be displayed in a museum, but for now, she's just thrilled with the discovery. The more we know about the past, the more we'll know about ourselves. So I, I just think it's fascinating, and I'm just delighted. It was just a find. It's been an interesting week.